I watched a Black Mirror episode where it was about like these two astronauts. And you know how in Black Mirror they have like advanced technology and whatnot? Well, basically, there's these two astronauts. They work in space, blah, blah, blah. They've been like there for however many years in space. And they have like a robot human body that they use to like spend time with their like families, their wives, and whatnot. Um, back down on Earth. And yeah, so like basically on the spaceship, they can mentally port into like a cybernetic body of themselves back down on Earth. And then they can basically, it's like porting their conscience into that body. And they can basically spend time with their wives or kids or whatever. They have families. And then at the end of the night, they just return back to like the pod and go back to their spaceship. But then one of the astronauts has like his family murdered and his body destroyed. And they can't make him like basically it was like a like a house break-in So his family got murdered along with his like cyber body and they can't make him another body because those bodies were made while he was on earth and Basically, he's super depressed because he had to witness his family getting murked his wife his two kids so then the other astronaut was like damn like i feel bad for you maybe why don't you try borrowing my body and enjoying some fresh air so then he borrows the astronaut's body he meets the the astronaut b's wife so astronaut a takes astronaut b he borrows his body gets some fresh air he meets his wife right and the wife like basically comforts him like telling him like you know like it's okay blah blah, blah. and then he comes back and he's like hey that felt really good you know, that felt great. But then he asked if he could do it like one more time. You know, it was nice. Like if he could paint something. So they make an arrangement where I think like once a week he gets to use the guy's body to go back down to earth and start like an oil painting or something. And as it's happening, the guy starts developing feelings for astronaut B's wife. Astronaut A is feeling some type of way for astronaut B's wife and at first he like there's like a moment where he like kind of like hugs her from behind right and then she's like no 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 like stop it like you're not you know and then they even have astronaut B has a wife and a kid right the son and there are like it's you see moments where astronaut A kind of parents astronaut B's son and it's kind of strange. So it, it gets like more tense as time goes on. And astronaut B, while he's in space, because they like kind of um, go on and off. So while someone's doing a physical, the other person is using the space bot that they now share. Well, astronaut B goes into astronaut A's room and finds a drawing of, a of his wife, his own wife, that astronaut A drew. But it was like a sexy drawing, like he drew her nude, all right? So astronaut B is like, what the hell, dude? Like, what is this? So he confronts him. He's like, did you see her naked? Or like he, he asks his wife, he's like, did he ever see you naked? Did you guys do stuff together? And she's like, no, 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 no. Like, what? No. And so then he confronts the other astronaut and he's like, oh, what are you doing? Like, you're not allowed to go down there anymore. Basically, like, fuck off. Like, that's my that's my wife. That's my family. Like, you're drawing her in this, like, paint me like one of your French girl poses. <laughs> And then, you know, it gets tense because basically after that, astronaut A goes crazy. Like they're, they get in a fight and he goes like, I think he like knocks him out. I forget what happens, but then he goes back down to earth in astronaut B's body. And basically like the last things he said to him was like, like, you don't understand, like basically like you don't understand my grief or whatever. So then he murders astronaut b's entire family wife and son and he goes back up to space and you just see him sitting there at the table and then astronaut b wakes up and he's like what did you do right like so he runs and like basically he he transports his mind back to his body and he discovers that his family was murdered by astronaut a so he goes back and the episode or the show basically ends with them like staring each other down broken men it was awful i thought he was gonna like murder the other astronaut too like i thought it was gonna play out to where like the wife was okay with him with his advances and that she was gonna cheat on him but instead she rejected him then he got angry i thought he was gonna murder like the original astronaut b and take over his body and pretend to be him but uh <laughs> Poor Jesse Pinkman. You can't keep getting away with it! 
that's basically what happened. Anyways, the reason why I thought of that was because I am playing Galaga and I am just a woman in a spaceship. No, this isn't my. This is a Black Mirror episode. Are you guys watching my stream? Hmm, hmm. Are you selectively listening? You should be actively listening. Actively listening to Amber. Um, I only watched like that one episode. I don't. I don't know. I feel like I don't really like. Like it wasn't that good to me. Some of the episodes, I was just like, ah. Oh. I guess I don't really like the the style. Of, I like the idea of Black Mirror, but I don't like the style of or like the story, the writing. It feels like there's a lot of high potential stories that don't get executed in a way that is satisfying to me. Yeah, I feel like most episodes are pretty bad. Because they either are rushed or they end on a very flat note. But then there are some that are like genuinely like sweet and feel condensed. I guess it's like, what can you do with an hour of storytelling? But actually, you can do quite a bit. My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words, as we can. 